our death. Amen. Saints Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, the Vatican Museum entrance is right up there around the corner, and I'm going to get a video of all of our folks going by. On the way to the Vatican Museum and the Sistine Chapel, and a tour of St. Peter's. So now all the family and friends can see their relatives. There's our guide Massimo, our escort. Hello. And 92 people here in Rome with us. They just keep coming and coming and coming. Say hello to your family back home. Hello, Deacon. Ciao, bello. Fai il bravo. Rob Corzine. Hey. Here comes Luca. Buongiorno. Hi. Ah, here's one of our best pilgrims yes, ever. Marie. There you go. That's right. Roma. Uh, there they go. Keep coming. Yeah. Exactly. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Deacon Smith bringing up the rear here. And Jim and Janet. And all of us heading to the Vatican Museum, Sistine Chapel, and a tour of St. Peter's. There goes our group. Up the escalators to the top of the museum, and I'm going up the walkway. This is the judgment scene and I'm taking my secret movie. I'm sorry. I so said this is I'm taking my secret movie. <laughs> Letters up there in those bands, which are all 
quotations referring to Peter's spiritual pitching. Six and a half feet tall. And so you can see right above here, where the window is huge, and right above there, that window is about this. He's holding a pen in his hand. That pen is about five and a half feet long. The dome itself is 147 feet wide across the base and 450 feet up the major axis. Right there, you can see the statues of saints. These are basically the founders of religious orders. So the, guard, the guides there have, uh, you know, have to manipulate a substantially larger than normal through fairly small spaces. So I'm just going to sort of a supplement to what you hear um, down there. Thank you. 